Former U.S. Senator Norm Coleman is speaking out about his battle with stage four throat cancer. He's made remarkable progress as part of a clinical trial at the Mayo Clinic. Coleman has been busy since his 2008 re-election loss to Al Franken. He is focused on a successful international legal career, and he works for two political action committees that help raise money for Republican candidates. But as he told our Esme Murphy, cancer has changed his perspective on everything, including politics. At first, Senator Norm Coleman didn't think it was much. You're laying in bed at night, and, and there's just something in the back of your throat. A doctor told him he likely had an infection, but two weeks after that, he found a lump. You know, once, once I had a lump in my neck, then, then all of a sudden, I started to get a little nervous. This time, they did a biopsy. Two hours later, the doctor called. And she told me, she said, you know, it's cancer, uh, and uh, we'll figure this out. Well, what was that like? Uh, it was pretty uh, uh, devastating, actually. I mean, really devastating. I he remembers the car ride home, wondering how he would tell Lori, his wife of 34 years. I'm thinking a thousand different things. Well, am I going to die? I mean, fear at its at its maximum, and, and not you know, not just about myself, because then you, you start thinking about my, your family, so thinking about your kids, and you start thinking. I, I was thinking about my my cabin that I've got a mortgage on. That I, that that can I can I how can I get pay that off quickly enough before I die? Lori Coleman responded by saying she wished she had the cancer. And she says, I wish I had. I said, no, Lori, I want it, you know. At the Mayo Clinic, the senator and his family got good news. The cancer had not spread. Surgery in late October was successful, and he was put in a clinical trial. So I, I had one half the radiation in that two-week period, and I had one-fifth the chemo. The result, as may, is that I had very few side effects from chemo, almost none. The senator's updates on Facebook and Twitter brought thousands of wishes of support. Even former rivals like Senator Al Franken reached out. Maybe that's Minnesota. Maybe that's something about who we are. I, I don't know if it happens in the rest of the country. It's a perspective so that has changed him. My eyes have been opened. I, I now see things that I didn't see before. And he's been offering this advice to anyone who will listen. If you see something or feel something that just doesn't seem right, check it out. Right. The quicker you check it out, the, the better your chance of, of success, of survival. Coleman says he will know if he is cancer-free on March 7th when he goes back to the Mayo Clinic for some final testing.